Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the first. Okay, so the timing is fluid, and we're just gonna see what comes up. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, not every reading is for you. Uh, this re reading could, re could resonate now, tomorrow, in the next couple days, whatever. So, what do we have for a message today? Knight of Cups. So, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. So, there is an offer of love that is coming in. We got somebody that's looking for love. This is a romantic. This is a knight in shining armor, right? This is a proposal or an offer that is coming in. Somebody's going to be acting on their feelings, declaring their feelings, their intentions, making a move. Okay, this is looking for love. Um, so yeah, this is looking for love, expressing feelings. Three of pen oh, three of pentacles, three of wands reversed. So this is lack of foresight, unprepared. Somebody may be unprepared for a romantic offer, unprepared for a relationship. Um, this is not seeing it coming. So somebody may have not seen it coming, but here it is. This is love. This is a romantic offer of some sort or a proposal or something like that. The Knight of Cups is um, a knight in shining armor. You know, this is looking for love. This is uh, a very romantic, it could be a very romantic day. Um, making an approach, socializing, dating, following the heart. Ooh. Oh, temptation. There's some sort of temptation here. Lust. Lust. So we got some lust here. Um, well, there could be some sort of... Uh, well, there's temptation. There is definitely temptation. There is some sort of magnetic pull when you get the devil card. There is some sort of draw, okay? There's some sort of draw. Could be a, a sexual connection here. I mean, the devil is a strong pull. Instant gratification, perhaps. Um, I could have somebody here that's looking for instant gratification, but there's feelings involved. Ooh, strength, need to restrain. Somebody needs to find their strength to restrain themselves. Definitely a sexual energy here. This is enjoying power, being brave, mastering emotions, having no fear. Somebody needs to restrain themselves. I think there's going to be a strong desire. This is a strong desire, okay, based on feelings. So there's going to be a strong pull. There is going to be a strong pull on this day. Um, and I think that you're unprepared for it. This is uh, probably, uh, I think there's been some wasted time or there's, a, there's been a, you know, a lack of foresight. Didn't see it coming, but here it is. Mm, six of swords reversed is troubled, okay? Refusing to take a new approach. Not going anywhere. Somebody is not going anywhere. There's a strong, this is a strong desire for a relationship. This is not going anywhere. Ah, knight of pentacles reversed. And the knight of pentacles reversed is unstable, insecure, unfaithful. Okay, knight of pentacles delay procrastination um, there's some sort of blockage or something like that from a relationship progressing this is no progress <sighs> knight of pentacles reversed this is irresponsible it's irresponsible um, there's no long-term plan here. We may have a, uh, somebody that doesn't have any long-term plan to uh, make any solid moves. This is somebody that isn't, isn't uh, planning. 
It's unplanned. Oh my God, there's some sort of unprepared, unplanned arrival of some sort or connection. Um, Six of Swords reversed. That is very troubled, stuck, I'm refusing to take a new approach, not going anywhere. Somebody's going to need to find their strength and their inner power to restrain themselves from some sort of temptation that is probably not good for them. Um, oh God, Knight of Cups. This is somebody that is very charming. Very, 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 very charming. Um, Ah, a choice needs to be made. There is a blockage. I knew there was. This is a blockage. So there's something in the way. We got somebody here that is at a crossroads, and they're going to have to make a spur-of-the-moment decision. Okay, so there's a spur-of-the-moment decision that is going to be made on this day. Okay? Um, there's something that is, is in the way. Somebody needs to make a decision to remove something that is blocking them. They have to make a choice. Which way do they want to go? They want to go this way. They want to go that way. It's definitely a very fertile time. I just see this rabbit. Rabbit, what do rabbits do? They breed. So I feel like this is a very sexual energy here. I do believe somebody's going to have to make a spur of the moment decision. There's going to be a very, it feels like there's a very strong desire um, to uh, have their feelings or their desires met. There's something about feelings here. Somebody's going to be acting on their feelings, making an approach. This is somebody. This is. I, I want to say debonair, and I don't. I don't even know. Um, this is. But there's no. This is unplanned. There could be an unplanned arrival here, but a decision is going to need to be made. Do you? Do you? You know. Have the. Can you restrain yourself from this or not? Here I am. Uh, pulling my hair out. Anyhow, two of wands reversed, or not reversed, two of wands upright. That is oh, deciding, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to go? Are you going to stay? Are you going to do it? You're not going to do it? So this is a decision that is being made. Um, spur of the moment decision, split second decision is going to be made on this day. Four of Swords reversed. Now, the Four of Swords reversed is waking up. Something about waking up, coming, no, you know, coming out of isolation. Living. It's about living. It's about living a good life. It's about uh, going down a path that you've never gone down. So I do believe that there's a. Obviously, there's a path that is being presented to somebody. Somebody needs to decide. They need to decide whether they want to live or whether they want to go down a new path or they want to continue to be blocked by something that is blocking them. We have a major blockage here. Something is in the way of a relationship because this is a blockage. Okay, there's something blocking. And this is a relationship. It is. So there's something that is blocking a relationship where there's probably a strong connection of some sort. But it, there, it could be lost. It could be lost. Um, two of Wands. Spur of the moment decision. Somebody, and I feel like it's a very troublesome decision. It is definitely a troublesome decision. Somebody's going to need time to think. I feel like this is gonna. It could be overwhelming. This could be an overwhelming decision with the Four of Swords reversed. Um, there may be some frustrations here. Somebody may be really frustrated. You know, there could even be some sexual frustrations here. Um, Five of Pentacles reversed. And the Five of Pentacles reversed could be a turning point. This is coming out of darkness. Getting what you need. Somebody needs help or they need something. And somebody may have something. They may have something to offer. Somebody has been abandoned. They have been neglected. They've been uh, alone. You know, now there's an opportunity for to receive <laughs> Oh, okay. 
five of wands or five, I'm getting it all wrong. I'm all discombobulated. So I'm feeling like you're going to be discombobulated on this day. This is coming out of darkness. Okay. This is the end of difficulty, right? This is, this is, um, getting what you need instead of being led down the wrong path. This is getting the help that you need. Somebody may be getting what they need. This is a turning point. This is the light at the end of the tunnel, end of the tunnel. This is um, seeing a major improvement. So things are, are going to get better. I think that there's an offer that is coming in. It's a very emotional offer. It's a very loving offer. Somebody is, is looking for love. They're going to be making an approach. They're going to be making an entrance. This person um, has a strong desire to... move in a new direction but there's something in the way there is something in that is blocking them from from going in the direction that they want to go so this person it may be there could be some confusion here there could be some financial issues that are holding somebody back from going down a new path we may have somebody that is is stuck because this is stuck they're stuck where they are at because of financial issues you know this could be you know, this is this is an exhausting situation. Somebody is very frustrated in a situation that they are in, and there's an, there's something here where they could receive what they need, but there's some sort of blockage. It could be money. It could be assets. It could be some sort of, um, you know, property or something like that. There's something that is in the way of somebody going after something that they have a strong desire to go after. Now, this is unprepared. So there's somebody that is very unprepared for a relationship or a love or feelings that they're feeling for somebody that they are very, I feel like there's a strong attraction here. Um, not going anywhere. Very, very troubled. I do believe that there's there, that we have an individual that has been neglected. They've been alone. They may feel isolated. You know, they haven't been being taken care of. They haven't been able to ask for help. They need to make a spur of the moment decision as to what they want to do, whether they want to remove this blockage, because that is the blockage. Somebody has to make a spur of the moment decision because they have this strong desire you know, to go in a new direction. And right now they're thinking. I mean, that two of wands is a choice. This is a spur of the moment choice. So this is, what do you want to do? Ah, oh, choices. Choices. Now this is a, a beware of false beginnings. You know, be careful what you, be careful what you choose. Because what you own, owns you. So somebody's going to have to make a choice on this day. And they're, they need to choose wisely as to what they want to do. Okay, I do believe that we have somebody here that uh, may need to slow down as well. Things may need to slow down, but they're having a hard time slowing down because they're so tempted. There's some. This is temptation. It's a strong desire. Um, but this is a choice. So somebody definitely has to make a choice as to which path they want to go down on this day. And I feel like there's, there could be fear of abandonment, but this strength card says, have no fear, have no fear. Okay. Follow your heart because that is about follow your heart, follow your heart. Um, now this is somebody that is typically very, very practical. Maybe, maybe it's about not being practical because this is heart. This is practicality. Follow your heart. Follow your heart, right? Maybe it's not about being practical. Maybe it's about following your heart. Um, and I hate to say that because I'm very practical. You know that I am. So, um, but this is a choice. So there's gonna, somebody's going to be presented with an option on this day that is it's very sudden. It is a very sudden decision because this is sudden. When you're at that crossroads and you have to make a spur of the moment decision, do you? what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So somebody's going to be tempted by something that is very alluring. It's, it is. And I think that there's going to be a need to uh, choose wisely because what you own owns you. Um, five of Pentacles reversed. That is some sort of turning point. It is a turning point. There's been neglect. 
There's been abandonment. Somebody has been alone. This is alone. And this is coming out of loneliness. There's another option here. Somebody is being faced with another option. They have another option right now. And there's a strong desire to, you know, go after it, whatever the option is. And I just happen to focus on the rose. The rose is romance. And this is romance. So this is like a, a sudden, you know, desire for, for romance. Totally unprepared for this. Mm. Six of Pentacles reversed. So the Six of Pentacles reversed is not recipro reciprocating, not getting what you deserve, right? I mean, the Six of Pentacles reversed is Oh, an abuse of power could be domination, could be greed, could be an injustice. There could be strings attached. There could be some strings attached here. Somebody has something that they are attached to. They have to make a choice as to whether they want to follow their heart or they want to choose to stay, stay with something that you know probably is there it's they're in it for financial reasons because we have this is a choice is this, this is financial and this is financial so somebody is in a situation for financial gain and they could lose some lose something fine and this is financial as well they could lose something financial if they choose down to go choose to go down that other path so that's the choice do you choose to follow your heart and go after what your heart desires or do you choose to hang on to something that is you know this could be greed Okay, they could be greed. Somebody could be hanging on. They, they're choosing to, you know, they're choosing money over love. They're choosing money over what they truly desire. So that is the choice. That is the choice of the day. Do you choose to follow your heart and go after, you know, what you desire, which you can probably not restrain yourself from, but you do need to restrain yourself from, or do you choose to let go of the financial aspect and follow your heart. So that's what the choice is. Ooh, we got the star card on the bottom. So the star card is a dream come true. This is a wish being granted. This is a fairy godmother that has granted somebody's wish. That leads to guaranteed success. This is, this is somebody's hopes and desires and dreams coming true. So somebody had been praying. They've been praying for something, and now their wish has been granted, but now they have to make a choice. And that devil's card is about ego. So do you choose to hang on to something that is financially beneficial and, you know, give up an opportunity for something, you know, emotionally fulfilling, or do you choose... To hang on to something that is, you know, financially beneficial. Anyhow, I do believe that we have the death of a situation here with that Four of Swords reversed. Somebody has been choosing to um, hang on to something that is really not reciprocating. There's no reciprocation there. They've been neglected. They've been abandoned, whatever. And there's another option here. And I feel like on this day, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. I mean, that's what, that's, that's what this card is. This is your prayers being answered. Somebody, Somebody's prayers have been, been answered, but now the universe is like, what are you going to choose? This is your choice. This is choice. These are both choice cards. What's your choice? Choose wisely. What you own owns you. Get it? What you own owns you. If you want to choose something that is financially beneficial, then you could lose out on your dream come true. Good luck.